Just when you thought Donald Trump couldn't cross any more lines, he has dropped this little stink bomb at a campaign rally last night. Take a look. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. You have no choice. So other GOP candidates finally are speaking out against him, calling the plan un-American, but you heard some people, you can hear some people were applauding. Those are his, his fans, of course. They're going to applaud. Mm -hmm. He has his constituency. Mm -hmm. But the GOP is churning on him. Because, one of the reasons, I think, is because they feel if he wins, they lose. They lose the House, they lose the Senate, and they mm -hmm. lose the presidency. They're worried. And you, their party, in a way. Yeah. Because I, I, you know, my family has Republicans in it, and they're not psyched about the idea of Trump winning either. You I don't talk, think anyone is. You talk about the GOP, and the top-ranking Republican, the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, just spoke uh, within the hour. This is something that he rarely does. He rarely comments on the political race, the presidential race, but he said this was so egregious. This is his quote. He said, this is not what this party stands for. It is not what this country stands for as well. But the danger in this, this is exactly what ISIS wants, because it alienates the Muslim community, of and course. then it could drive yeah. them to seek refuge with ISIS. This plays right into their Where has everybody been? Yeah. Where's the GOP been? I mean, this started with him saying, you know, Mexicans were rapists and murderers. Right. Where the hell has everybody been? This is what we were saying. You don't want this kind of rhetoric out there. And now suddenly everybody's like, oh my goodness, what did he say? Well, he, he's they, saying it because you've allowed him to do it. Because they see the danger now to their party. That's why. Now meanwhile, they see it? meanwhile, the Mexicans Good are God. leaving the country. You notice he's off the Mexicans now. Now he's on the Muslims. By the way, uh, he does love some Muslims. So yes, he, he does. Uh, he's building a golf course in Indonesia, which has the largest Muslim population it in was. the world. Yep. And he's also really chummy and calls him a good friend with Hussein Sajwani, head of the Dubai luxury real estate company. So it's only Muslims who would have no money. Well, of course not, it is. Yeah. Who have money? No, you know why? Because money breaks down all barriers. Yeah, like, well, I'm hoping that that. Dubai stuff goes into the toilet because maybe you need to realize that you know you can't just paint everybody with one brush. You were trying to say no, something, I just I cut just, you off. You know, no, but you didn't. As as a Christian, though, I will always fight for religious freedoms and. But, but as a Christian, I fight, we have to fight for all religious freedoms. Because, listen, if the government can shut down one group, they can, they can shut down all the groups. Wow, so yes. if you shut down a mosque, you can just as easily shut down a church, a synagogue, any place. So think about it. Do you I know this? Oh, go ahead, Sorry. baby. No, I... <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I just, I think we should ban orange people. I think it's time we speak out against the orange. I don't want orange people coming into our country. I have a lot and of orange friends. So do I. Yeah, I'm I am, sorry. I'm I don't just, know what you're You know this John poll? Boehner is orange. Yes. <laughs> John Boehner's gonna have a lot of problems yes. if it's left up to me. Do you remember this, this poem, uh, <coughs> when they came for the Catholics, mm -hmm. I did nothing. When they came for the Muslims, I did nothing. And when they, it's a much longer poem than I'm mm -hmm. making. And when they came for me, there was no one to speak up for me. That's right. I mean, listen, <laughs> this is still America. I'm so, you know, I know that y'all were applauding him, you love him out there, wherever he was talking, but this is still America, and you're not gonna win well, this one. Well, they can't win you're this. Not, no, you're can't. not gonna win this one. It's against the law. So I wish someone would do their homework or maybe do a little history check yeah, and see what happens. It's unconstitutional. You know, the question has come up also, what is he getting at? Does he really want to be prepped? When I saw him at the Gazelle mm -hmm. concert, I said, do you really want to do this, Donald? You know, I asked him that question, and he said, uh, can you believe the polls? That's what he, he's about. fascinated by the fact that people are in love with him, that he talks about the thousands who came to see him. It's a narcissistic disorder. I wonder if they're going to find that in medical records when he has to release them. So, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> severe I narcissistic friend, disorder. I had a friend who worked on Celebrity Apprentice, and yeah. he was one of the people in the editing room. And he said he would watch Trump for hours just basically repeating what other people were saying. He never had an original thought, that he was only repeating what others were saying. And the 
the one thing he did do is when he saw something wasn't working, he would move on. Like he did have that gene or whatever. But he's not stupid. I, he's not stupid, but I, I do think he's being fed a lot of this. I don't know who his advisors are exactly, but he just wants to win that Iowa poll, and it's an evangelical state, and I think that's what he thinks is well, going to get him well, that he's election. He's not representing all evangelicals. Right, I'll I tell you that. Are you evangelical? Yeah. You're not evangelical, are you? And he's not winning an Iowa. I, I don't like to put well, labels on it, Joy. I just, I'm a Bible believing Christian. Yeah, no, I, I don't even know is. the difference I between in the Bible. a Bible believing Christian and evangelical. Is there a difference? I, I, I get confused sometimes oh, too okay. because everyone really the, the, has a very different definition or they're slight. So oh, I, I think you'll get a different answer depending okay. on who you talk to. Mm -hmm. But there's a, a Facebook message that came in from Abby and she says about Trump, um, does something need to be done? Yes. Is this it? No. He's pandering to people's fear to turn that into votes. Mm, well, right. He's a master I, at seizing opportunity. Well, I would tell him to, to remind him that, uh, you know, uh, Muhammad Ali is Muslim and you seem to be quite chummy with him. Kareem Abdul Jabbar is the Muslim. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of Muslims. Look how happy Muhammad and, is in that picture, uh, yeah. by the way. He's, He's like, thrilled. I'm here. <laughs> but it's, wow. you know, it's, you know, yeah. be. You, I don't even know what to say. It's so <coughs> ridiculous. But what is sadder to me than everything are the folks that were there cheering. Mm. Well, there's always that was, be. Well, maybe there is. But I, I, it made me sad because, you know, we've come so far. Parties in this country. Asian people, black people, white people, everybody has fought for their place in the sun. Everybody has fought to make their place in the sun and to suddenly come out with this kind of BS rhetoric that I thought was gone yeah. when, you know, after people got eaten in, in Alabama. Mm -hmm. I thought we were ahead of this and it just broke my heart to see that we are it, still it, it, pissing in the wind. It also, uh, it seems to me that a lot of the, um, what should I say, the information that the FBI must glean about terrorism must come from some of these mosques in this country where you have plants and you have people well, who are actually gonna... giving information. So now you want to keep those people out? That doesn't make any sense either. He doesn't make any damn yeah, sense. Yeah, they rely on the Muslim community for a lot. Yes. Now you're just, you know. now you're risking alienating them and making them feel disenfranchised, which is it's, a yeah. huge danger.